How are y'all today? Good how are you, bro? I'm doing good. Well, as you go through an install offensively, you're still trying to learn the playbook and get acclimated. When you go out there and let's say you have a you know a turnover like today, what do you do to, to kind of get yourself back in rhythm to get in the huddle for the next team? I treat it like a touchdown. Just go to the next play. A lot's going to happen, and um, I mean, you learn a lot out there each play, and that's just my focus right now. But well, we haven't talked to you since rookie minicamp. Just just since the start of that through through now, where, where do you think you made me grow? You know, I think um, from a standpoint of the the playbook and the verbiage and understanding, um, you know, the operation and the process that goes uh, with them calling a play and getting to the line scrimmage and. Um, making sure everybody's ready to make the play work. What did you do kind of between the end of spring drills and then the start of training camp, and how much did you study the playbook and all that? Uh, so I finally got a quick minute to catch my breath, and um, you know, right before we get back to work, and um, I last a little bit of um, time off, and so rested the body a little bit, and then jumped right back into it to uh, you know get ready for camp and. Uh, um, camp's going to be, you know, a long few weeks, and you can treat that, you know, as getting ready and preparing as well. So, uh, just kind of ramping back into uh, to uh, training camp, and excited to be back out on the field with the guys. This first week of camp, what surprised you the most about an NFL camp? Uh, you know, it's uh, I feel like it's very similar to to college camps. I mean, we're up here all day. Um, you know, it's all about football. It's all about the grind, and uh, I think the most fun part, honestly, is just the um, the time with the guys and you're really uh, spending time with them for the first time because you know OTAs is here and gone and uh, we had just joined the team so you don't get much time before they go on break to really get to know them so uh, that's what I'm really enjoying right now and uh, expect camp to get you know tougher and tougher as we go but uh, that's part of it and uh, I honestly think that's the that's the fun part is when it gets when it gets tough and you put the pads on and you get closer to games. I believe you were the competition has ramped up since you came back. Well, uh, I hadn't ramped up because it was pretty high to begin with. So um, I feel like we have a great, healthy competition going on. And, um, you know, it's good to be in a room with those guys. I learn so much from them. I pick up, you know, a lot of information from them day by day, really play by play. So uh, sitting in meetings with them is uh, great and watching them on the field is great. Um, and then we're just, you know, we, we got great relationships already and we continue to, to build those. So what's the key to playing well in the red zone? How much does it test your knowledge of the when you're down there? Well, the windows get tighter, um, but they can only do, you know, a few things. The, the, the field gets tighter for them too. They don't have as much um, field space to work with. But a lot of red zone is game planned and it's tough to go in. And we were talking about it today. You go into um, an install day and you're installing your – um, red zone plays and they're installing theirs and you're not necessarily game planning for their defense. So we could run a play that's not necessarily fit for a coverage, uh, but we could also run a play that's perfect for a coverage. So same thing for a defense, you know, they're going to have to scheme up our formations and our routes and um, run plays. And so it's red zone's tough. So once you get down there, the, the field shrinks um, and it's all about just converting, um, you know, Red zone third downs, and um, you know, knowing you got points, and just trying to get touchdowns. But well, what's the challenge when it comes to, to, to the fact that you guys are rotating three guys that you don't have that work day in and day out with a particular receiver to kind of learn the habits? Is that kind of a challenge for you? Well, the good thing about us is we rotate receivers, so uh, you could be going with any group and you know get any receiver. And so I feel like we do a great job of those guys are you know moving through. <laughs> Um, going through the uh, the process as well. They're in a huge competition as well. So I think, you know, all of us on the field, um, nobody has a, um, you know, their their job solidified, and that's how we practice. You know, we, we go out and compete every day, and everybody has that mindset. Now there's several guys that, you know, you know they're going to go out there and play on Sundays. Um, but I also think that they have that mindset of competing, and they're not going to give up their job either. When you're in a competition, how do you balance – taking care of the ball with taking chances because sometimes you can just want to turn into check downs to prevent turnovers. Mm -hmm. And I think you probably were in a couple, maybe one year at Auburn and that first year at Oregon. Did you learn anything from those that you can apply when you're in a competition year? Uh, yeah, I've, every year uh, since high school I've been in a competition. But um, I think when you look at you know the red zone and being, you know, What's the risk versus what's the reward? And um, thanks, Alex. And uh, a lot of the times you go uh, per play, and you know sometimes you know down a distance means a lot, and uh, coverage dictates a lot. But 
Um, it's all about being confident, and sometimes you, you do take a risk, and sometimes it, it doesn't work out for you, but those you just you minimize and uh, you learn from. But at the same time, you don't want to be a gun-shy quarterback. So um, no matter what, just have great confidence in the plays and the players and go out there and execute it. And if it's not there, then uh, check it down. But it's also about experience, and you see looks that, that you like and then you get to come back to. But um, sometimes it's just it's not a good look. You just check it down and go to the next play. It looks like you're having fun out there. Oh, it's a blast. NFL is a lot of fun. Um, I'm so excited to be here. Uh, I'm a part of a great team. We have a great culture, uh, great staff. Um, I mean, it's hard not to love you know, where I'm at right now, but um, also not complacent. So you, the joy and the enthusiasm you see on the field, it's all about, you know, um, what can I do to make this team better, no matter what position I'm in. Um, and so that's, I think, what, what's my greatest joy is that I get to go out here every day and uh, make a team better, and uh, that's a lot of fun. And I think we all have that mindset, and that's why we're going to you know, have a good football team. Well, you mentioned that you're no stranger to quarterback competitions. So Say it again. This, Say it again. You mentioned that you're no stranger to quarterback competitions. What is this one like? Well, this is the uh, first one in the NFL, um, but they're all competitions. I mean, every day, um, you know, no matter what stage you're on, you're in a competition with yourself. And so I think – um, as I move forward, no matter what year, whether you know, I've had experience, whether it's my first time this year or whatever, I'm always competing with myself. And I think if I compete with myself at a high standard, um, then no matter you know, who's around me, they're going to get you know, my best. But at the same time, competing with yourself, is a, it's a daily uh, quest for success. And I think you know, if I achieve my personal best, um, then I'm not only doing the team a favor, but I'm doing those guys that are competing against me a favor because they're getting my best. So. Um, that's all I can do, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. And um, competition is is uh, the main point of life, so that's what I enjoy doing. Last one, Woody Page. Yeah, do you? Uh, you've been a star since you were a freshman, mm -hmm. over uh, for a long time. How badly do you want to be continue that streak of being a starter? And would you be acceptable to be? A Backup for a year or two in the national. Well, I don't know if I have a choice on that one, uh, if I accept it or not. If I want to stick around, I better accept it. Um, but I also don't necessarily want to become complacent and say, you know what, it's my rookie year. I'm okay with, with sitting back and hanging out and learning. Um, you know, I have full confidence and trust in these coaches and this team. They're, they'll play me when I'm ready, and I'm going to do my best to, to get ready. And so that's all I can do. Um, but I also think you owe it to, and, and respect the other guys who are in the competition. Um, I mean, they also want to be the starter, too, and they also, you know, are going to have to accept what happens. So um, it's not an easy thing, but at the same time, we're all mature, and um, we've all been here, done that before. And so whatever they decide, that's what we're going with. Um, but, you know, we're all just giving it our best right now. Do you want to take back to your last appearance in Seattle? Uh, I think about that a lot. Um, it's one of those things that um, honestly, I honestly hope I never forget because uh, of the learnings, um, things that happen. But, um, yeah, it's only fitting I get to start there this year. Um, and that's where my NFL journey takes off. And so um, we're going to be ready to roll, and uh, we're going to come out with some enthusiasm and hopefully not that, let that happen again.